Hi everybody, welcome to another episode. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Ogechi. I'd love to know your name in the comment section. Thank you for stopping by. If you're a new subscriber or a new viewer, make sure you like and you subscribe to my channel and make sure you share and also drop your thoughts so it's important you watch at the end of the video. I've never done any video like this. This is my first time of talking about something like this. You know, and I would really love to know your thoughts about this. Today's video is quite interesting and also a bit different it's my first time talking about this so i would really love to know what you think returning subscribers returning viewers what are you waiting for like this video share subscribe comment and watch the end of this video so today's video is from justin reloaded okay it's from justin reloaded whoopi and the view turned their minds over trans day Whoopi and the view what am i saying today's video is from justin reloaded Whoopi and the view lose their minds over trans day audience turns on them whoop whoop whoop, whoop. let's see what this guy to say I am so angry about this because they are misrepresenting the message of Jesus. They are misrepresenting Catholicism, Christianity. Yeah. You know, the trans community is 1.6% of our community. And if you know anything about Jesus, you know that he welcomed lepers. He welcomed yeah. prostitutes. He welcomed the least desirables among us. The fact that you're saying this to the most Catholic president we've had yeah. in years Since Kennedy. is... Whoopi Goldberg and The View are so lost that they are alienating their own audience. Their own audience is often turning on them now because they are realizing, and I don't even know who the hell their audience is, but the people who they hire to be in the stands and in, in the audience, an actual audience member physically there, inside of The View's recording studio they're actually turning on the view quite often and you can kind of hear it in the reactions from the audience of the view throughout this clip but throughout all the other clips that have been coming out recently that are super controversial as well like we covered you know i, I cover a lot of them but there's a lot of them where you can listen to the audience reaction and where you would think that an audience member of the view would give applause or would cheer or something like that there's actually a lot of like oohs and ahs like uh, like they don't really like what they're saying they're just getting too extreme with their beliefs they're going too far it feels performative at this point anyway let's get into this meltdown here from Whoopi goldberg joy behar and the rest of the view this time about trans day of visibility and conservative reaction to that let's check this out march 31st i don't know whether y'all are aware of this has been designated as a transgender day of visibility since 2009 okay this year all right all right yeah this year it happened to coincide with easter sunday so cue the pearl clutching from the conservative media <laughs> <laughs> this is a clear effort and a coordinated effort to remove God from our society and to replace God with false gods. And in this instance, it's the trans community. They clearly want us to bow at the altar of the trans community instead of bow to God. If you have a whole calendar, 365 days of the year, and the transgender community purposely chooses the day of Jesus' death or his resurrection, whatever Easter weekend, that seems like a shot. A purposeful shot. If you're going to commemorate godlessness, at least have some respect for Christians and wait to do so another day. The left already celebrates godlessness 24-7 anyway, so an internationally designated day, week, or month is frankly redundant. The fact that you're saying this to the most Catholic president we've had yeah. in years Since Kennedy. is... I don't, I mean, come on guys, like... Right. Like, is it, it's kind of hard for me to even get mad at statements like that from Whoopi Goldberg and Joy Behar. It's like, you really think Joe Biden is like, what, what, is, what constitutes him being the most Catholic president most Catholic ever president. since, since Kennedy, Joy Behar says, like, what constitutes that? Because like a lot of the stuff that he does, most of the things that he does and says go against what the Catholic religion does teaches yeah. what the christian religion religion overall teaches what Absolutely. all world religions preach really you know it, it like even him tweeting out i know he doesn't run his own twitter account but even him promoting trans day of visibility even him putting trans flags on the white house stuff like that i mean like come like 
can somebody explain like it, i'm actually lost for words a little bit here because normally that statement from whoopi goldberg would piss me off like to no end like i would get enraged about it and i would go off on a rant now it's like we're not even trying anymore are we like joe biden is the most catholic president of all time can, can somebody explain <laughs> like what how do you know that because he said it how, how do you know because he doesn't act like it his actions don't don't say that at all he actually would is kind of the complete opposite <laughs> of a christian to be honest with you <laughs> is extraordinary to me and Republican officials like Ted Cruz, to Speaker Mike Johnson, also echoed these lies. Now, are they intentionally misleading Americans or are they just dumb? They yes. are misleading. They are, they are first misleading. First of all, let's just talk about the hypocrisy. They're, they're saying that this is sacrilegious when they are worshiping a man who was accused of sexual assault. Well, he was found liable. Found liable, found liable. okay. Who runs around with a Bible that he's never read. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. It really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. Who, who's having an affair with a porn star while his wife is home nursing a baby. So shut up already, all right? That's one thing. Number two, wait, number yeah. two. President Biden, they we handed them this baloney that they're on with Fox and everywhere else. He handed it to them because he's a good person, that's why. Because he wants to show that he supports a group of people that is under attack in this country. Yes. And if Trump gets in, they will be even more under attack. Yes. So that's what's happening. Can, can I say something uh -huh. about this? Sure. Is it obvious to anyone else that this is extremely performative? Yeah. Like, at this point, so like, it makes me mad, of course, but then I realize, like, this is so performative. Like, it's very obvious to me that these people, The View, Sonny Hostin, Joy Behar, Whoopi Goldberg, they're getting paid off to say these things. Like, there's no way that they're not. Because there's no way that people are actually, like, I say it every time, but I have never met a fan of The View. And let me know in the comments if you've ever met a fan of The View. I don't think they exist. I think this show is simply propaganda. I think that's all this is. Because there's no way that they actually believe the things that they're saying. There's no way. I refuse to believe that. I mean, maybe Joy Behar is that stupid to believe these things. But, and, and maybe Whoopi Goldberg too. Maybe she, she seems pretty stupid as well. There's no way that Sonny Hostin believes these things. Like, she's a well-educated, obviously, decent IQ level, brainwashed, possibly, into this cult. But she's too intelligent to not realize how dumb she sounds whenever she's about to say what she's about to say here. Angry about this because they are misrepresenting the message of Jesus. They are misrepresenting Catholicism, Christianity. Yeah. You know, the trans community is 1.6% of our community. And if you know anything about Jesus, you know that he welcomed lepers, he welcomed prostitutes, he welcomed the least desirables among us in the society at that time. I was in church. I was in church on Easter Sunday and our entire homily at St. Charles Borromeo here in Harlem was about Jesus and about how he got up yes. because of us and for us and gotcha. gave his life yeah. for us. Yeah. And so for them oh. to be so hypocritical in the name of Jesus is blasphemy. And by the way, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Well, dude, it's so performative, man. And it's, it's crazy that we're getting preached to by people who they don't even care about the well-being of the country. They don't care about the well-being of anyone. You know, and in fact, like, you know, I'm not even going to go into that, but they don't care about the well-being of anyone. All they care about is their side winning. And they know for a fact, like if you really put if you hook them up to a true lie detector and you, you ask them, would America be better under the supervision of Joe Biden or of Donald Trump? If they answered honestly, it would 100% be Donald Trump, and I don't care what you say otherwise. Like it would 100% be Donald Trump, but they don't care about that. They don't care about the well-being of the country. They only care about their side winning, the woke side winning. That's it. That's all they care about, and they're preaching to us about what Jesus would do. <laughs> like you, you have no idea. You have no idea what he would do. Like I don't, I don't, I don't even believe for a second that Sonny Hostin went to church. I don't believe it. Oh, yeah, let the fake conservative talk. I'm sure she's very Christian. Like, let, let, let them tell, let her tell us what, what Jesus would do and why we're so wrong for wanting Easter Sunday to be about Easter instead of anything else. Let, let her tell us why we're so wrong. Okay. The Ten Commandments, the first commandment, if oh, I recall geez. from my Catholic school upbringing, mm -hmm. is I am the Lord thy God, thou, thou shalt, shalt not have no false, false gods, gods before me. Before me. Yeah. And then this guy gets on TV and says he's like Jesus, and they buy this? Why they buy this? That's the Something really, really rubs me the wrong way about the view, Joy Behar and Sonny Hostin preaching to us about, about 
Christian, you know, Christianity and Catholicism and, you know, what makes a good Christian and stuff like that. Something really, really rubs me the wrong way about that. Like, like I said earlier, a lot of these things that they say doesn't even make me mad anymore. I don't feel anything. This is really, it really pisses me off. Like this makes me feel like disgusting watching this, to be honest with you. First commandment, okay? Yes. Yes. Well, I echo the sentiments Lions. of everyone at this table. I'd also like to issue a PSA to warn people next year Easter falls on 420, which is the highest. <laughs> what is that? It, it, it is the highest same outreach for people like myself so they it's will a come high for you holy day. too it's a weird day. <laughs> but just, also keep in mind what that, that this is some advance notice just in case they're listening uh next year easter's on the 20 20th it's also lima bean respect day how dare they how dare it's they it's also national pineapple <laughs> upside down day wow how about bible it, upside down day no it's national cheddar fries day <laughs> and it's also chinese language day so you see there are days that take up all of our days and they and it's been like this forever the mere f does the president tweet out happy lima bean respect day on Easter next year, if it's Joe Biden? I mean, the answer is no. The reason why people are so mad about it is because it's very obvious like what they're trying to do. And I don't feel like I need to explain this. I think everybody, every, everyone knows this. It's very obvious what they're trying to do. It's very obvious that they're trying to take away yeah, they're trying to enrage Christians. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to enrage Christians. They're trying to create more division within the country by saying happy, you know, trans visibility day or trans, whatever the hell it is, trans visibility day, whatever the dumb, dumb thing is called instead of happy Easter, you know, happy good Friday, whatever they're, they're trying to take away. They're, they're trying to cause more division. They're trying to enrage Christians. It's very obvious that that's what they're trying to do. And everybody can see it. The view can see it. Whoopi Goldberg knows. Joy Behar knows. Sonny Hostin knows. All these idiots know. But they're not, they're not going to acknowledge it. They're, they have to stay on their side of things. So they're, they're going to preach to us about what being a good Christian is and all this other nonsense. I don't know. Makes me absolutely sick. Let me know in the comments what you think of this clip. I find it just disgusting. But let me know in the comments what you think. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I hope to see you guys on the next video. You guys, what do you guys think? This is actually a lot to watch. I feel like this is like, I feel like it's an attack on Christianity, to be honest. If the president can move the and allow them to celebrate their visibility day, I mean, I don't, I have my, my thing against them, which is okay. But I mean, picking that day, Easter Sunday, I mean that day where Christians use take we I mean it's it's a day, right? We use in celebrating okay the death and resurrection of Jesus, right? And then they actually pick that day to celebrate their visibility day. Don't you think it's an attack on the Christian on the Christian community? I think it is. I think it is. And for Whoopi to say something like, oh, how can they say something like that on the most Catholic president? How is that? How is Biden the most Catholic president? I, I mean, I don't know what they're trying to do there. I feel like they know what they're trying to do. I know they know what they're trying to do there. They know the kind of propaganda they're or what they're trying to communicate to people. I mean, they say a lot of funny things there. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just think that it's it's a direct attack on the Christian community. They can choose any other day to celebrate their visibility day, right? But choosing that day, I mean, it's it just seems somehow it's I mean it looks somehow they would have chosen the next day, which is Monday or Tuesday or another day, but the day Christians choose and you know why it stands and then one of the ladies said i'm sorry i don't know their names and then one of the ladies said oh christianity is all about you know everybody comes to jesus or oh, jesus accepts everybody jesus jesus doesn't look i mean what what has that got to do with anything what has that got to do with anything there is easter sunday and you can choose another day to sell it has nothing i mean you can't i mean you can't compare the two anyway that is my take that is what i think let me know what you guys think in the comment section and i'll see you in my next video don't forget to like subscribe and drop your comments and share this video i'll see you in my next episode